Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator World Championship 2009. So, last episode, we defeated some more of the duelists, and in between I actually ended up dueling a lot of those duelists uh, five times, or four more times off screen actually. So I made some, um, got some DP, pretty good, right? So what I'm going to be doing is buying some packs. Now the one that I definitely need to buy a lot of is going to be Dark Revelation 1. I was thinking of like the best way to approach this situ situation here and I figured that doing this is going to be the best way through this so I'm gonna buy some of these packs let's see what I can actually get here helping robo no 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 old entity magician that's funny dark flare knight no I got a sonic duck but I don't need any more 70, 1700 beat sticks right you know what that might actually be useful for a plan that I have uh, Sonic Duck. Try 50 virus, I believe it's banned, so I can't even use it, or else I would. Um, that's a good Gra Gra Gravekeeper's card right there. Hmm. No. Great Angus, another. Ooh, Luster Dragon. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Love that. Spell Vanishing Terraforming. Huh. I can add a Field, field Spell. An Owl of Luck, Magical Merchant, Curie. Okay, that was about it for that. I want to keep... Well, let's see. I got a Luster Dragon, so... It's not, like, horrible, you know? The fact that I... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to buy four more this time, because I want to see something here. Let's see if I can get what I'm looking for. Um, Hexhead Cannon. Nice. Archfiend's Oath. Great Phantom Thief. What the hell is this? Oh. Hmm. No. Um, let's see. Bizer Shock. Cyber Raider. No. That was about it for that. I mean... I'm looking for... Well, I mean, let's see. Because I got that. I suppose what I can do now is like... Hmm... Nah, you know what? Just spend everything I got on this. Just do it. Just freaking do it, right? Alright, let's see what I get. Yomi Ship. Interesting. Uh, Wicked Fino. Megaton. Magical Can. Remove 10 spell counters. Oh god. No. No, no, no. Acrobat Monkey. Arsenal Summoner. Frozen Soul Pitch. No, another Luster Dragon. Cool, I'll take that. Okay, so I actually got some pretty decent stuff, I must say. So what I'm going to now do is go into deck construction. I'm glad that I actually got my luster dragons there. That's awesome. I'm going to... No, I'm going to go to new, actually. Go to new. Over here, I need to go to attack. And basically take a look at what the hell I need to replace here. So... What card sucks? <laughs> um, I guess this one, because that's a normal... See, that one has an effect. I mean, do I even need that? I don't know. I guess here you're going to trunk and then that one has an effect. I mean, eventually that one's. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I'll get rid of this one. Let's do that. Let's do one, two. I got a great Angus. Uh, okay, it's not so bad. Got some good monsters. Any other cards that are pretty good? Uh, Tribe of Virus is banned. Okay, that's what I thought. And everything else here is hmm, not that good. Yomi ship is okay, but I prefer things like Man Eater Bug, actually, to be perfectly honest. I think that that's, a, like, a little bit better. Kashido, what the hell is that? Pigeon Holding Book of Spells. No. Reversal Quiz. Terraforming is going to be useful for later, actually, once I start getting an actual, like, archetype deck, because I have an idea of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but for now, that's about it. I mean, I got some Luster Dragons. It's a slight upgrade. So that's good. I got rid of X Saber. Oh my god, what the hell's her name? Did I save it? I wasn't paying attention. There we go. And okay, cool. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. X deck construction? Yes. Alright, so like I was saying before, um, the main thing that I was doing is dueling all these opponents four more times each. 
so I believe I showed you uh, Battery Man Microsoft, but I unlocked Toon Gemini Elf, Crebons, and Dupe Frog from dueling um, Marie, Kid, and Suzuki. Is that the name? I don't know. It's the name of the top, the the one. So this is Marie right there, but that person over there, that one as well. Uh, dueling Mark five times does not actually get you anything, but you want to duel him at least three times because uh, that's going to make you be able to unlock a duelist, or sorry, a pack a little bit later. Renge. Pipeline. Okay. Let's go ahead and duel it. This is not actually the way to progress the story, but I want to go ahead and duel these people here. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, let's see. First to go, I second to go, okay. Alright, so I have no idea what the hell your deck entails. Um, I mean, it's called Egyptian Vacation. What could it be? It can't be another Gravekeeper's deck, right? I just dueled the Gravekeeper's deck. I don't know. Alright, um, oh yeah, I added, I forgot to tell you, but I added two additional cards off screen. This one, no, no, three. Right? This one I actually won from Suzuki Girl or whatever her name is. She just gave it to me. And then this one I had it there and the whole time and I was like, what the fuck? I'm gonna put that. I think there was one more card that I actually put. Anyway, the only monster I can actually summon this turn is Luster Dragon. Um Let's do some of this. Let's give you piercing. Uh, just watch it be an MST, and that's gonna actually destroy my Luster Dragon, unfortunately. It was not Golem Sentry. Okay. I get some piercing damage. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, main phase two, I'm going to go ahead and set my Solemn Judgment down and actually end the turn. Okay, it's actually kind of hot in here. I need to go ahead and remove my sweater because I am dying right now. So let's do it. What? Limit reverse, what is that? Select one monster with a thousand or less attack from your graveyard and special summon it in attack position. If that monster is changed to defense position, destroy it and discard. When this card is removed from the field, I, you know what? You take it. You take that. Because if you change it to defense position. Oh, I see, I see. Um, no, I'm still on judgment in that. I see your combo there. You're also going to destroy my Luster Dragon by doing that, huh? Yeah, I'm not letting you do that, man. Not letting you do that. Is that it? Okay. Wait, what? Dude, the monster got changed to defense position. Are you stupid, you card? I'm so confused. I am, like, literally so confused right now. Um... If that monster is changed defense position, destroy it and discard. What? I'm so confused. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Okay. Um, the only thing I can really do here... I can tribute summon. So I can destroy... It would have to be your golem sentry then because... Yeah, no. You're gonna flip that shit back up. So I gotta destroy it now. Okay, did I just... Do, do continuous trap cards that, like, equip stuff... Like, lose their entire effect when the monster goes face down? I, ne I never knew that was a thing. Like, what the heck? Hmm. The shell... Are you serious right now? Um, okay. What's your card on the left? Is that gonna be like another... Oh my god, it's a Medusa Worm. You've gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Dude, this is bullshit. This is like bullshit, man. I'm gonna be honest, I do not know how to deal with this guy right now because that Nightmare Steel Cage is seriously a pain in the ass right now. I cannot deal with that. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's a problem. Um, I can summon Dark Valkyria, but that's not gonna matter. 
you know? Like, I'm gonna lose both of these monsters. Okay, at least I'm still okay. Just don't, you better not put a freaking Swords Revealing Light, man. That's gonna be so dumb if you do that. I need more backward removal in my deck. It is a huge weakness of my deck right now. Huge weakness. If you can't destroy back row, there's like nothing you can do, man. Three monsters? Oh my god. Now you're gonna flip Medusa Worm. Wait. What? What in the world is wrong with you, dude? Are you kidding me? What? Okay, um, I'm... Okay, I'm so confused right now, but... Yeah, alright, so what I'm gonna do is attack this one, because that's a Golem Sentry, obviously. If you're strong enough to destroy that. Get rid of that crap. Why did you not flip Medusa? Maybe I'm reading something wrong about Medusa Worm's effect, but I could have sworn that, like... Oh my god, wait, when did you... Wait. What? Whoa, 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 what What in the world is going on right now? Am I tripping? When did you tribute set? I could've... I... People, I know, you, I know some of you are thinking I'm so stupid right now, but I swear to god, I was looking at the damn screen the whole time, and not once did I see him tribute set. What? fuck is going on right now? Am I... Am I like... Did I take weed by accident? No, right? No. What the shit? Dude, I'm actually kind of scared. What in the world just happened? Did you tribute set the... When in the world did that happen? I swear to god. This has never happened to me like in any Let's Play ever where I'm literally looking at the screen and somehow I didn't notice a... A very noteworthy action like that. How the... How in the hell did that happen? That's why you didn't flip the Medusa room, so that part actually makes sense now to me. But... What the crap? Okay, at least you're giving me a free monster here, so that's good. I suppose. Okay, what are you doing now? Guardian statue. Okay. Oh, this is not good. This is seriously not good, man. I have to destroy a card? I'm gonna destroy this one. You're attacking with that. Um, I mean... Wait, what are you gonna do in your next phase, though? Should I just let you do that? Okay, I'm gonna go for this. I don't know if this is a smart move. Wait, because yeah, you only have 800, so I can just flip you back down. And you're flipping that back, and that's 1400 defense. Okay. So, the one in the... Crap. Alright, so... What I'm gonna do is, obviously I'm gonna flip you. Okay, I have an idea here. So, the one on... The right is... okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna summon Dark Valkyria. This deck is so fucking annoying, people. I swear to god. Okay. Place a counter. Activate your effect. To destroy a monster. And I'm going to destroy... That one. Get rid of that shit. Okay, enter battle phase. Uh, so that one is a guardian so it's a statue, so obviously I can just go ahead and do that. When it's flip summon, okay, so luckily it's not gonna activate the effect. Only when it gets flip summon. And you can attack that. That is a golem sentry. Okay, so now you have nothing except for one card in your damn hand. And that's it. Which is good. What are you doing? What are you freaking doing? And face seriously? Okay, I managed to bypass this guy and his freaking bullshit. 
Okay, am I gonna win this turn? No, right? Because I have a Rush Reckless Lead. That'll give me another 24... Or, sorry. Another 24... Another 700. So, it's good to know. And it's 24. Minus 18. Okay, just hold a B button, seriously. Yeah, if you don't want those prompts to come out, you just simply hold a B button. When you're doing anything. See? Hold it, and it just removes those prompts that are always annoying on the screen. No, I would have been 700 away if I used Rush Recklessly. Okay, I'm just going to set this card. And basically end the turn. I got this, because if you play a spell card, I can just negate it. What are you going to do? What are you doing? End phase. That was a long-ass waiting time. Okay. And that's it. I guess I'll just go ahead and summon Gemini L just for fun, you know? Enter battle phase, attack with Grandmark the Rock Monarch. And that's game. Yeah, that duel was not very fun. And the worst part is I have to duel this guy four more times off screen. That's gonna be ridiculous, man. Like it really is. I'm not even kidding you right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well that was Wrench. He's down. I lost you lost on purpose. So this place over here, if you actually keep running this way, it's actually closed, it says shut tight. No going in or out. So the only other person to duel here is going to be this person, because there's only two people here. This is Hyold. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and duel you. Let's see what happens here. Let's do this. Let's freaking do this. First two go, second to go, I'll go first. Like always, you know, like always. All right. Let's go ahead and draw. So I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna actually set this card and I suppose I can just go ahead and put Ceasefire down and that's gonna be it for the turn already. So what is your deck called? I forgot what your deck's called. Hill zone, okay. <laughs> Green hill zone. Okay, so you're putting two face downs, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and flip over your DD or my DD warrior lady. Okay. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and summon Dark Valkyria. Anything? No? Alright, here we go. I don't know what to expect. What could it be? Ooh. Flame Bell Archer. Do you have a Flame Bell deck? Because if you do, I won. Because Flame Bell cards suck. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Tributing one, all flame ones are getting in. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. Dimension Wall? Instead of you, your opponent takes the battle damage you would have taken from the battle. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, fine. Whatever. I'll take it. I'll take the damage this time. It's fine. Alright, main base two. Let's go ahead and set one. And turn. Alright, let's what you got for me, man. What you got? I can take it. Oh my god, except if it's a heavy storm. Should I just... No, it's only gonna inflict 500. Well, I mean, I have to do it regardless. Alright, chain ceasefire. Um, I don't want to chain my Composer Evacuation Device, that makes no sense. I just take your 500 damage. I don't know what the hell that was, but okay. Defense mode? Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and summon uh, Luster Dragon this time. I'm going to attack with... Just to be safe, I'll attack with Luster Dragon, sure. Flame Bell Pawn. Okay, is not a Searcher? I think it's a Searcher. Yeah. Oh my god, no. No. You and your damn Spirit Reapers. Okay, well luckily, um, I have DD Warrior Lady, so it's actually kind of fine, because I can just attack with DD Warrior Lady next turn, and I'll be good. 
All right, main base two. Let's go ahead and set that. And end the turn. Here, yeah, what are you doing? Are you setting Spirit Reaper down? You probably are. You know what I can do? I can just use Dark Valkyria's effect, actually. I just realized. Oh, you know what? I should have used Dust Tornado. God damn it. On, on the end phase. Here, do that. I must stay okay, fine, whatever. It's fine. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually summon you. And I will activate your effect to place a counter on you. This takes so long to use this damn effect. And I can activate your effect to remove the counter to destroy a monster. And I choose that. That's a spirit reaper, I freaking knew it. Alright, Luster Dragon go. Do some damage. Basically everybody has to attack to win, but that's going to be game. Alright, so this duel is not nearly as difficult because he has a Flame Bell deck. Flame Bell decks are pretty bad. Uh, Flame Bells are actually very underpowered as an archetype. If you're going for a fire deck, do Volcanics, dude. By this point in the game, or by this point in Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2009, Volcanic decks were already emerging as pretty good. Then they lost some of their lust eventually, but then when Pendulums came back, they all of a sudden came like crazy again, and now they're lost again, so whatever. Alright, so... That's it for Hild. And there's actually one more duelist that I want to take on in this episode. And that person is actually down here. I, to progress, I need to go down. So before you go all the way down, if you talk to this person, this is Saito. Okay. Let's go ahead and duel. So these three people, Saito, Hild, and whatever the fuck his first name is, the other guy. Uh, they're also duelists that you have to defeat four additional times off screen. Or that I'm going to do, so five times total. You're not human. What the heck? So I'm definitely going to be doing that off screen. I don't know if it's going to be right now or... I mean, we'll see. We'll think about it, you know? I don't know, to be honest. Okay. So let's see what I can do here. I'm going to start by setting this card and basically ending the turn. That simple. Ever-Living Underworld Cannon. What? Okay, whatever. What are you doing? End phase? Okay, so I have to take a look at what in the world that actually is, because I do not know. Once per once during each player's turn, when a zombie top monster special summon to your side of the field, inflate okay, that's not that good. Alright, let's go ahead and summon Gigantic Cephalotus. Let's go ahead and flip Maneater Bug. They shot some damage. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and set this. And I'm going to use Mage Power on Gigantic Cephalotus. So I can go ahead and get up to 2850. And plan on demolishing this guy like super fast. So let's see if it actually works, you know? Okay, so that's minus 450 right there. That's a pretty good start. And that's minus 2850. Down to 4,700 life points, okay? That's a good start for me. Let's see what you got now. Oh, dang it. I mean, at least I destroyed your own card, so that's fine. What you got? Are you serious? That's it? Okay. I mean, whatever, man. Alright, let's go ahead and summon uh, DD Warrior Lady. I'm also going to go ahead and set one card. Enter battle phase. It's minus 15 and a minus 2850. Oh my god. No, sorry. 1850. Yeah, my bad. 1850, not 2850. I forgot that mage power was gone. Another 450. That puts you down to 900 life points, man. Like, that's freaking crazy. That's crazy.
Okay. So you put one card. I mean, it's... I'm still going to summon you, but, I mean, come on. I have seven tools to bandit. Can't be that bad, you know? Target that card. Oh my god, it's a bottomless. I don't even care. Just, who cares? I'd rather stay at 8,000 light points to get the, like... What the hell do you... Oh, oh, thank you, dude. Thank you. You get to destroy the card. But yeah, no, I, I didn't want to pay because I'd rather stay at 8,000 to get the no life points loss bonus or whatever the hell you call it, you know? That was actually really fast. I beat this guy incredibly fast. Okay. So that's that. Get some more points. I'm at 570. Okay, so... What are you gonna say? How come I can never win? So again, those three people I'm actually gonna be dueling off screen. The other thing I wanna show you is that if you come down here, we're gonna get taken out to the world map, actually. So there's different sections in the world map, and all I'm doing right now is, um... Basically, I'm gonna have to be going down to the next section, to the slum. But I'm in the residential- wait, actually, aren't I in the slum right now? Wait. Wait, am I heading to the green or the pink? Fuck, I don't even know. I think it's the pink, right? Why would it... Okay, I'm going to the residential. Yes. That's residential. Okay, so... At least I showed you that, so in the next episode... I don't know if I'm going to be progressing the story or going to world championship mode, because now that I did duel all these people, I'm going to unlock up to 10 additional... up to 10 duelists in total. So it might be beneficial to, like, go to World Championship mode and actually take on some of them, you know? Um, let's keep going with Dark Revelation 1. I know it's only three packs right now and that's all I can do, but... Let's see what I can actually get here. Twin Swords, Freezing Beast, Banner of Courage, Different Dimension Gate, Exodia Negros, no. Amazon is Tiger, Non-Aggression Area, Staunch Defender, Metamorphosis, and Dramatic Rescue. Okay, nothing particularly good from here. Um, but at least I bought a lot of this booster pack, so that's pretty good, right? I think that's good. Um, I was looking for a specific card that I don't want to spoil quite yet. But, I don't know, we'll see. So all the duels are more than 54%, holy shit. So yeah, I'm going to be doing some off-screen duels. Um, let me go ahead and actually save the game here, because... Yeah. I don't think there's any more, like, final deck edits that I actually have to do. I have like a minute left if I want to do something, but I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, as far as what's new, I got a bunch of shit. I don't need that. And then for like high attackers, I was looking into, um, I don't have Prime Material Dragon, you know, but 50, 1800 for Dark Valkyria, you're pretty good. Twin Barrel Dragon, not so bad. Yeah, this thing. This thing is not very good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send- Oh yeah, this is the new card that I put, right? Force the La Ladybug of Doom, that's right. That's what I replaced. And then this one is just like Sasuke Samurai, but I put you because you have more attack. 400 more attack. But everything else I believe was unchanged. That was there, that was there. Did I put that? I don't know. Maybe Mask of the Accursed is something that I put off screen, but... It's pretty similar deck as you, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is, now that I got rid of that... I'm gonna go ahead and put, um... Either X-Head Cannon or Great Angus. Actually, I should probably go back to X-Saber Ana Polera because she's an Earth. And that'll make it a little easier. Or Galahad. No, I mean, it has a down... No, it has a downside. I really don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, but I don't need Earths anymore, right? No, I don't. Well, I need warriors. I need more warriors to search out for um, reinforcement of the army. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose you. Oh, you're back in the team. You're back in the team. Can't believe that. Damn, girl. All right. Let's go ahead and save the recipe. And I'm going to end it here. So in the next episode, uh, I'm going to already have defeated those three more duelists four more times each. And I'll see what I'll do. I I'll either progress the story or I will do some... Um, world Championship Duels, so we'll see. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.